Hey guys, it's Mrs. Robertson here, and today I'm an astronaut, and I'm all the way in space. I'm going to take you guys with me on my spaceship, and we're going to go make some observations about the sun, and the moon, and the stars. If you guys are ready, then hop on board, because in three, two, one, blast off! Let's start with the sun. Did you know that the sun is actually a star? Stars are giant balls of gas that create light and heat. The sun is the closest star to our planet Earth, but it's still really, really, really far away. It's 93 million miles away to be exact. The sun is actually way bigger than Earth. It just looks small because it's so far away from us. Do you guys know why the sun is so important? It gives us light so we can see during the day, and it also gives us heat so we don't freeze. Did you know the sun is really predictable? Predictable means we know what something is going to do. For example, we know that the sun is always going to rise, which means go up, in the east. So when you wake up in the morning and you see the sun rise, it's going to be in the east. Now likewise, at nighttime, when the sun's going down at bedtime, the sun sets in the west. This is a globe. It's a 3D model of the Earth. Right here, you could see Oklahoma, where we live. A globe spins on its axis the same way the Earth does. The Earth actually moves around the sun. It takes a whole 24 hours, which is an entire day, for the Earth to spin one time. This flashlight right here is going to represent the sun. The sun shines light onto the Earth. As the Earth spins, the sun continues to shine. When the sun shines on the one side of the Earth, that side is experiencing daytime. While the rest of the world that's dark is experiencing nighttime. The sun shining and the Earth spinning create those predictable patterns of daytime and nighttime. Have you noticed that all around me are stars? That's because in the nighttime there are billions and billions of stars. Hey, Mrs. Robertson, I have a question. Do the stars ever go away? Why can't I ever see them during the daytime? That's a really good question. Let's see if together we can solve the mystery of the disappearing stars. To solve this mystery, you need a few things. You need a cup, a pushpin, and you're going to need a flashlight. The first thing I did was I took my pushpin and I poked a whole bunch of holes in the top of my cup. This is going to be like stars. Can you see all the holes I poked? For the next part of the experiment, I took my flashlight, and I turned it on, and I made sure all the lights in the room were off. Stick your flashlight inside of the cup and point it towards a wall. When you do, it'll project stars. So why do stars come out at night, but we can't see them during the daytime? The sun, or in this case the flashlight, outshines the stars. That's what's going on in the real world. See, it's nighttime, and you could see the stars out right now. But as soon as I use my flashlight as the sun to come up in the morning, it's going to get so bright that it will outshine the stars, making them impossible to see. See that? It's easy for us to predict that at nighttime we'll be able to see stars, but in the daytime we won't be able to see them. And that's because stars have a pattern. At nighttime when the sun isn't out shining on them, we can see the stars. But during the daytime when the sun's shining, we can no longer see them. The last thing we're going to talk about and observe is the moon. The moon is a huge piece of rock that goes around our planet. It's big, but it's much smaller than Earth. The moon rises in the east and sets in the west just like the sun does, which makes it really predictable. We can see the moon because the sunlight shines on it. As the moon rotates, different parts are lit by the sun. The moon looks like it's changing shape, but really it's just changing phases. I'm going to show you guys a really fun and yummy way to learn about the phases of the moon. So every 28 days, the moon does a full rotation, a whole cycle, and it will go through each phase. Here is your moon. It's an Oreo cookie. You could scrape off some of the frosting to make the different phases of the moon. Now that you guys have journeyed to space with me, You've learned about the moon and the sun and the stars. And hopefully now you're able to walk outside and look at them and observe them and make some predictions 
about what they might look like and when you might see them. It was really fun having you guys with me. Bye.